Hey, a lot of amazing things came together over the course of, <laughs> she knows she can get away with licking me when I'm making a video. <laughs> so over the course of 20 years, really, a lot of things came together that led me to discover the symmetry principle, the psychological quantum physics that lets us know that whatever upsets us is holding the key to our path to peace and freedom. And one of the things that had a really big impact on me was the work of Harville Hendricks, the idea of imago therapy, where it's actually your image of the other person that you can work with. It's the image of the other person that is actually sort of mimicking what happened to you as a child and the ways that you can actually use a really deep, intimate, committed relationship to evolve yourself in some ways in a way that nothing else really can. So it's because the stakes are so high that they start to mimic that level of dependency that we had in childhood. And that, you know, just really understanding it those those the idea of it it was helping me a lot and yet it didn't save my marriage because there were just enough pieces where i needed to come home and be in more solidarity with myself and i didn't get that for quite some time but another piece that led me so much closer that is completely consistent with harville hendrix was the work of byron katie which showed me what to do the Harville Hendricks had the theory, the idea that this person that we attract is going to trigger every childhood wound we've got. And if we can use them to evolve ourselves, use them as a mirror, use them to wake ourselves up to the old programming, then the relationship can really evolve us and can change over time and can grow into a wonderful thing. Or it can go completely the other way where the other person starts to look like the enemy. And in some ways, that's what happened for me. I didn't know what to do. I even worked imago therapy all by myself for a good long time, even though it's supposed to be done with couples, but I like the theory so much. And yet, when I got hold of the work of Byron Katie and I was able to see how to turn the thoughts around, that's when things really started to change. It was almost like the two put together were just genius. Harville Hendricks had the theory, Byron Katie had the putting it into action. And then later for me came the part where I began to stand in solidarity with myself and was able to eradicate what in some ways was causing all of it was my lack of self-love and my, my beating myself up and putting myself into um, a place of blame and shame where I needed someone else to come in and rescue and validate me. And yet in some ways the other person couldn't do that. I was the one who loved myself. So I was the one who needed to come home. And I saw that in some ways I, I had already figured out along my own process too, that there was something about doing the opposite that was going to make a big difference. And yet when I got the work of Byron Katie is when I saw how the turnarounds allowed me to find really specific, tangible examples for how I was doing to myself and the other exactly what I thought they were doing to me. It's like, oh, how humbling is that? To see that in some ways, you're actually creating your pain or creating the other's pain even more than they are. But I, it wasn't the kind of thing where I used to go in right afterwards and find my part and beat myself up and apologize a lot. It was just a taking a look, a look at that, a look at that. There's hope because if the whole thing is an inside job, then I can clean it up from the inside. And the paradigm shift that took place as a result of that, of putting together all my years of spiritual work and everything came together when I saw the symmetry, the symmetry in whatever upsets us holds our path to peace. And I look forward to teaching you more about it. Take care and see you soon. Bye.